card today for what are your blessings going to be in November? For pile one, we have a lovely amethyst. Pile two, we have a mahogany obsidian skull. And pile three, we have a lovely druzy geode. I believe it is regular quartz. Not sure. So, this is pile one, pile two, and pile three. Okay, pile one, you had the amethyst. Set that aside, and we're going to see what blessings you have coming in for November. I'm going to say all of November, kind of Thanksgiving vibe, but all of November. I've got a couple new decks today. The Stake, ugh, sorry, Star Temple Oracle. And the Sacred Traveler. So let's see what I can pick up off of these. So your first card is the Enchanter. Dream, I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. The second one is the Cosmos. Ascend, I connect to oneness and expand my awareness. Three is Goddess of Balance. Equality, or Electra, Goddess of Balance. Quality, a, I create and foster reciprocal relationships. And then you have the Huntress, Quest, the Pleiades Light, my quest to be wild and free. And your final card is the Ruby Star, Flow, I embody my authentic and sensual essence. Okay, so what I'm gathering from these cards is you are going to feel in your power. Um, some sort of dreams in your life are going to start kind of coming true for you. You're going to feel connected to the energy, connected to your spiritual self. You're going to feel balanced, almost kind of a goddessy energy. Um, you're going to start something new. Uh, it may be because of the way these cards are laid out. It may be a new relationship. It could be a friend. It could be romance. It could even be a new business venture because you do have a lot of powerful women cards. Um, you do have this flow card that talks about sensuality. So I don't know if that relates to some sort of business you're doing, maybe a feeling you're having, or like I said, it could be some sort of a new relationship because we associate, you know, sex and sensuality with romance and love. Could be just a for fun relationship. It all depends on, you know, what area you're in in life. Now let's see what you got for the Sacred Traveler. You have infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Well, that's a good card. You have in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. And you have wise leader. You are a beacon for others. Okay, so I see two warrior women here. So, and then you have a goddess of balance. So I'm saying that you're going to be very much in your power. You're going to be able to lead people, to teach people. You know, that could be starting a new business, that could be starting a new position, that could be starting a new job. And then you have two, you have the flow and in the flow. So that leads me to believe you're just kind of flowing with what's naturally going on around you. And you are taking the opportunities that come your way and making the most out of them. Especially because I see you have the card for infinite abundance. So it looks like November is going to be a time that's going to be not super stressful for you. You're kind of in your realm. You're feeling yourself. You're feeling good. You're looking good. You're starting new things. And also having the amethyst. Amethyst is a stone that is grounding, sobering, calming. It's one that just, it does very much balance your energy. And you could also be pulling in a little bit of Aquarius vibes, like spiritual connection and balance would very much be tied into Aquarius. Um, even curiosity and trying new things and starting new things could be tied into Aquarians because they very much like what's new and different. So I hope this helps you for your read for this month and enjoy your blessings. I hope to see you next month. Hi, group two. This is your reading for November Blessings. What's coming in? Kind of a thanksgiving -y vibe, but I wanted to go the whole month of November because it doesn't always happen on Thanksgiving. I feel it kind of rolling into Thanksgiving and kind of rolling out between Thanksgiving and Christmas. 
Uh, the first thing you chose the one with the mahogany obsidian skull. Now, that for me speaks of you're going to be kind of feeling like grounded and you're going to have a lot of energy and vitality. You're going to have strength to work on whatever it is in your life that, you know, you feel you want to. So this is the Star Temple Oracle. I just got this a couple days ago. Let's see what cards you pulled for this month. Gateways of Light. Infinite, I have unlimited access to the divine mind. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is, if you believe in the twin flame journey, this is a time where you're going to be connected, A, to your twin flame, and to the parts of you that are divine. Um, this is them entwined within a, a kind of silvery gold snake, and the man is kissing the woman's cheek, and she's touching the cheek. It's very intimate and lovely. And they're very much a match set. And we're talking about divine. And then a gateway of light could almost be that relationship. You know, when you come together with your twin, it's very peaceful and calming. And it's just, it's like you're in warm light all the time. But let's see what else you have. The Sacred Orchard. Co-create. My abundance mindset attracts endless blessings. So, you have blessings coming in because you're very creative. You also have co-create, so I can see you doing something possibly with your twin, possibly with other people. Um, maybe you're collaborating on a business idea, collaborating on a personal idea, maybe you're collaborating on doing holiday meal together, but it looks like you're going to be successful, and you're in this nice, like, purple energy with some gold. Um, there's even a butterfly on her headdress, so I see transformation I see um, growing something lovely because she's got that lovely apple. And that purple energy is very royal, very regal, very like connected to your crown chakra. Like you're connecting on a, a mind spiritual level. This The first pile had a little bit of a spiritual connection too. So maybe that's what November's for this year. Lord knows we need it. And then you have the mirror. Reflect. I hold the mirror up to see, accept, and love all of me. Ironically, this ties in also with the twin flame because typically twin flame relationships are very much mirrors for us where they show us the things in us that need to be healed and we heal and come together or we heal together and work together to heal. Um, this can also be just like holding up the mirror to yourself and kind of seeing, okay, this area of my life needs no work. I'm going to take the focus and work on it right now while well, I've got the energy and the vitality and can be successful. Sometimes it's all about the time that you choose to do something, whether you're successful or not. And then you have the Empress of the Night finale. After the storm, I emerge a shiny new star. So I take this to mean that whatever you are working on, you're going to be successful. And uh, if you're a night person, obviously, tapping into that energy that you feel at night when the moon and stars are out, you know, Maybe you don't get that much done during the day, but let's say 4 or 5 o'clock runs around, you're like, ooh, now I'm energized. Tap into that. You can do whatever you want at whatever time of the day. And then we have the Aquamarine Star. Expression. I express my intuition and self-confidence and love. So, I take that to mean follow your intuition, be self-confident, and show yourself and others love. You've got a seam of stars. Like four of the five of your um, cards here have stars in them. They all kind of appear to be night. Because this one has the moon with like a dark gray background. This one has a dark purple with kind of stars. This one has like a purple pink with stars. This one has like a navy blue with stars. This one has like the, the brighter blue with stars. So right now is the time for you to be the star in your life. You know, take the steps that maybe you weren't taking before. Let your self-confidence and your intuition be your guide. You know what's right for you. If starting a new job or working for a promotion is what you need to do right now, then do it. If working on your relationship is what you need to do right now, do it. If meeting new people is what you need to do right now, do it. Maybe you don't even know that you're a twin flame or that someone's out there for you. Maybe that's a new path that you're learning. Let's see what you have now for your sacred travel cards. 
fellow travelers, support is all around you. So that means you're going to be supported in whatever you choose. Reflect and redirect your energy. Now we were talking about, this card is called impasse. Um, we were talking about focusing your energy, but it looks like maybe you're coming out of a time where you haven't been very focused or you didn't have very much energy. So maybe changing something right now is what you need to keep yourself moving and to move to the next level, wherever you feel that you need to. Like I said, it's not real clear whether it is, I mean, you have a lot of a love vibe here, so relationships most likely are involved, but they could be like between you and your boss. They could be between you and the love of your life. They could really be between you and your kids, your parents. You're going to know more how this applies to your life than I would. But I'm just trying to give you a little bit of guidance so that when these opportunities come, you can accept them and you can get the most out of them. And then the final one is surrendering to the journey, release control. And that's very important for all of us. Sometimes it's hard to just be like, I go with God or I go with the spirit. They know what's best for me. They're going to bring the blessings I need. They're not going to give me more than I can handle. And everything is a lesson that doesn't bring me joy, you know, um, joy can be a lesson too, but everything that you go through that's a hardship, it teaches you a lesson that's important, possibly for the next thing on the journey or much like a video game. Uh, you need to learn this lesson to know how to get through the next section of your life. So just go with the journey, enjoy it. You have success coming along your path and love is going to be really important for you in November and acceptance of yourself. And just feeling confident and trust your intuition. May you have a lovely November and hopefully I'll see you next month. All right, pile three. You have this beautiful sparkly jersey. I believe it is quartz. And what I think of when I see this is shine bright like a diamond. So whatever it is that is your skill or your talent, let it shine. Let the world see it. Embrace those things that are unique to you. And that can be anything. That can be singing talent. That can be maybe you're amazingly good at your job. Maybe you're the best mom out there. Maybe you're the best dad out there. Maybe you're the best aunt out there. Whatever it is, just embrace what makes you uniquely you and shine. November is your time to shine. So, I have these new Star Temple Oracle cards. They're gorgeous purple. My favorite color. And the stars on them kind of match with your theme of shine bright like a diamond. And let's see what you get for your cards. I'm curious. You get Mother of the Sea Goddess. I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. And she's very sparkling. She looks like she's just floating diamonds. She's got a big smile on her face. Everything is light and bright and white. Then you have the Seven Sisters Circle. Sisterhood enriches my life. More stars, more sparkle. Then you have the Oracle Forecast. I am the Oracle. My intuitive insights flow freely. She's got some stars she's holding in her hands. And you've got some nice green energy there, which is heart chakra. Then you have the moonstone star, passion. I'm entering a portal of euphoric love. So you got more stars going on. Then you have the jade star, surrender. I'm ready to let go with self-compassion. Okay, so you've got two very deep green cards here. So... To me, that speaks of connection to your heart chakra. It, it talks to heart healing, to having compassion for yourself and for others, to trusting in your intuition, um, to giving freely of your love and care to others. Uh, you also talk about sisterhood, which does not have to be such a binding word. I mean, sisterhood is more like that kind of familial feel. could also be brotherhood. It could also be, you know, like a mother-child relationship. It could be brothers and sisters. It could be really good friends. Basically, it's talking about um, 
trusting in your your community around you and how they enrich your life like acknowledge that and just kind of go with the flow like there's going to be a lot of good good emotions in November December so just kind of enjoy that ride that out see the opportunity in it and find what it is that you are passionate about you have a lot of love and passion in your soul right now so embrace that you know do you need a little extra self love do you need to share a little love with your family are you ready maybe to find a new love interest all of those things are wonderful things and you've got the heart energy going here to bring it about. So now let's see what you got for Sacred Traveler cards for a little more uh, clarification. So we have Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you. Which you have these two love cards. And you have a flow card. So that very much ties in for you. Then you have Passion and Pleasure. Savor your life. You had another Passion card. So flow and passion are, and heart is all through your reading. And then your last card is narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. So I think what that one means in regards to this is sometimes our vision can be narrow and we do not see what other people are experiencing. And maybe if we lead with love, we will get love in return or even sometime down the road when we really need it, we'll get it in return. Sometimes, even if you're not getting love from people, you need to give it. Because there's times when you're full and other people are depleted. So this month for you is a time where you're very full of love. Give it freely. Give it to as many people as you can. And, you know, don't let your narrow vision of something hold you back. Lead with your heart your love, and your passion. It's the time of the year for that. It's leading to something great for you. I'm not sure what it is because, you know, this This is just a read. This is getting what blessings are coming in for you. But I can tell you that tapping into your heart is never a bad thing. And developing your sense of community helps you far beyond this month. And learning to go with the flow, that reduces your stress. That helps you see opportunities and things that other people wouldn't. And that will help you uh, feel better. It's a stressful time of the year. You know, we're dealing with a lot right now. Just embrace all that is good. Let the things that are not good just flow away from you. Like the river takes the dirt down off the rocks, you know. Um, I hope this is helpful and hope to see you next month. Have a great day.